Hey, and welcome back. Let's wrap things up and implement our last two features, which are forgot and reset password. All right, so in VS Code, in our login component, let's copy these lines. So our helper, Axios, and toast message. Now let's open up our forgot components. All right, let's paste them in. Now the first thing we want to do is set up our handle change function. So cons handle change. It would be an error function that take in the value. We're going to say set email and say etarget.value. Now let's set up our state. So cons email then set email equal use state. Tap that and let's say it will be blank by default. All right, now into our input field. Let's say name will be email and then our handle change. Now let's set up our handle submit function. So cons handle submit. It will be an async that will take in the value. First, we want to prevent default. And then we want to use our validate helper first is empty field. So let's say if is empty the email, we want to return a toast message. That will say, please fill in all fields and then our options. Let's navigate to our login components and scroll down. Let's copy these lines. Let's go back and then paste it here. Next, we want to check for the email format. So check email. And then let's say if, if the email format is incorrect, we want to return a toast message. Let's say, please enter a valid email address and then our options. All right, now to our try and catch block. So once again, toast, error, response, data, message, and then paste this in. Now to our try block. We want to call our endpoint, so await axios.post, and the endpoint is forward slash API, forward slash auth, forward slash forgot underscore pass, and then we want to pass in the email. After this, we want to use the handle clear function, so let's go to our register component and then copy this, the handle reset, and then back to our forgot component. Let's paste it up here. And then we want to output it here. So handle reset. So once the user input their email address in the input field and then click submit, we want to clear that field out. All right, next, we want to return a toast message to notify them to check their email. So please check your email. And I'm gonna use an emoji of the email. All right, now our options. Let's copy these lines and then paste them here. Change failed to success. Now let's scroll up to our handle reset function. Let's remove this line and say set email because we only have one field and that's the email field and we want to set it back to empty. Now let's scroll down and then in our form, we want to say on submit. We'll fire our handle submit and then also our button, it will have a type of submit. Also, we need to wrap our form in a fragment and then I'll put our toast container. All right, now give this a save and check out our front end. First, let's log out. I will do a hard reload and then let's go to forgot. Let's input our email. So passion corners at gmail.com and then send. All right, let's check our email. And here's our reset password email. All right, cool. Let's go back to VS code. So now let's work on our reset component. So first thing first, let's copy these lines. So we want the toast, axios, and our helper. 
All right, let's open our reset component. Now let's paste it in. In our helper, we're gonna remove its email and we're going to need its length and also its match. Now let's work on our handle change. Now let's navigate to our reset component and copy this handle change function. Now let's go back and I will paste it here. Let's define our data. So cons data set data will be use state and it will be the initial state. Let's define that. So cons initial state, it will be password and then confirm password. Now let's spread out the data. So cons password confirm password will be data all right let's scroll down in our first input field the name will be password let's copy this line and then paste it here but this time it will be confirm password let's work on our handle change so handle change will be handle change Let's also copy this line and then paste it here. Now let's work on our handle submit function. So let's do it here. So cons handle submit. It will be an async function that will take in the value. First, we want to prevent default and now do our check. The first check will be for the fills. So check fills. We want to say if is empty and then say password or is empty the confirm password. We want to return a toast message that say please fill in all fields and now our options. So class name toast failed. Let's copy that and then our body class will also be toes failed. Next, let's check for the length of the password. So check password length. Let's say if is length and then pass in the password. If it's less than six characters, let's return our toast message and say password must be at least six characters. And now our options. So let's copy these lines and then paste them here. I will scroll up. Now let's check for the match passwords. So password match. Let's say if, if our password and confirm password does not match. We want to return a toast message. Let's say password did not match and then our options now let's set up our try and catch block so try catch I put the error so error response data message and then our options now to our try block so await axios.post and the endpoint is for slash api for slash odd for slash reset underscore pass and then we want to pass in the password so password and then also our access token so headers and then authorization pass in the token now we will also want to handle reset. So let's go to register and copy that function right here. Let's go back. We'll paste it up here. We will tweak it a little bit. So let's remove these lines. Now let's scroll down and I'll put it here. So handle reset. Next, we want to return a success toast message. So return toast 
and let's say password was successfully changed let's use an emoji let's use this one all right let's also define our options i'll copy it here and then we'll paste it here and of course it should be success all right there's one more thing that we need to do is we need to get the token so let's scroll up and this token is located in the link and we will need to extract it out so let's use the use param hook from react router dom all right let's say cons token will be equal use params now let's import that and scroll all the way to the top first let's remove its email because we do not need that and now under here let's say import use params from react router dom all right last thing is we need to wrap our form in a fragment so here and then here and then our toast container so toast container now let's use our handle submit so let's say on submit handle submit and now down to our button let's say the type will be submit all right let's give this a quick save let's navigate to our front end let's request a new email i will do a hard reload and now to forgot let's input our email send all right i will check my email here's the new email let's click this button and then let's input our new password all right our password was changed now let's go to login and use our new password and voila everything is working correctly and this will conclude our series and i'll see you in the outro Congratulations on completing the series and I hope that you gain valuable information to further your development journey. And I also hope that I earn your thumbs up. If you run into any issue, Passion Corners have a Facebook group that you can join where myself and other developers are willing to help you. With that being said, I'll see you in the next series. Peace.